Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a Genesis style atomizer. Oh, I know there's some of my subscribers out there that go, oh, another Jenny, move on. But you know, there's also a huge amount of vapors that do love Genesis style atomizers, and I happen to be one of them as well. And this is a really, really good one as well, and that is the MCR 303. Now, the majority of you will definitely know who MCR are and what MCR stands for, which is Manchester, which uh, when I first did the MCR 101 review, I didn't have a Danny LaRue what that meant, because I'm a dickhead. But uh, yes, MCR are the guys that have made the MCR 101 and the MCR SL, which are those lovely looking uh, mechanical mods that were very customizable, that had lots of different materials um, used in them, and. Uh, etc uh, etc et very nice mods and now they have made their own Genesis style atomizer and that is the MCR 303 now it's a 20 mil atomizer so pretty much if you've got a 22 mil mod it's going to look a little bit awkward but uh, this was kind of designed to cater for their MCR uh, 101 SL which was their 20 mil mod but if you're using say a box mod or if you have sort of like tapered top caps and things like that it looks fine now it's made of 316 grade stainless steel it comes with its own 316 drip tip has a 1 mil air hole and also comes with two tanks as well one stainless steel and one PMMA if you want to see your juice or depending on what sort of style you use now it's got a really nice deck on this as well, it's got a 16mm deck, it's got an 8mm reduced chamber in the top cap as well, and another thing that's kind of different about this is it has its own attached fill plug on it, so you can't actually remove that fill plug. I'll show you a little bit closer on the uh, close-up of course and, and also what this is is basically it's like a self-guiding top cap as well you can never sort of accidentally twist the top cap knock your wick or knock your coil or anything like that it's uh, it's fixed there and you can never lose the fill plug either so uh, that's a really nice touch. I'm just going to take a quick blast on this now I've got it on the Robusto I've um, got like a 1 ohm coil in this uh, using 6 wraps of 0.28 over um, some 400 mesh Lovely, very flavoursome, it's a, a really nice Jenny. Anyway, before I get into more details, what I think about it, uh, where to get it from, prices, etc, 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 let's go down to the table now, have a look at it up close, bung it a wick in it, and then uh, we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. Okay, so here you have the MCR 303, as it comes to you in this rather nice little box with the usual MCR logo on the front. Little magnetic clip there on the front, and we open up, and we're greeted by your atomizer, drip tip, and obviously the spare PMMA tank. So let's get a closer look at the device itself. So here you have the MCR303, which is a 20 mil Genesis style atomizer. Now it's made of 316 grade stainless steel. It's 30.7 mil from the top to the base, but it's 42 mil um, with the included drip tip. And it's a really nice drip tip as well, also made of 316 grade stainless steel and a nice big bore there as well. We have a one mil air hole in the top cap there. Also comes with a stainless steel tank and also a PMMA tank provided as well if you want to see your juice. If you're using any tank cracker juices though, I suggest, highly suggest using that stainless steel tank there. So let's have a look on the inside. Held in nice and firm by that O-ring. Now you can see we've got a 16 mil deck on the MCR. We have a 2.5mm wick hole there next to the negative screw. Also have your fill hole there. It holds around between 1.5mm and 2mm of juice. We have a naval brass connection there for your positive and peak insulators as well. The top deck, the top cap, sorry, is uh, actually quite exciting there. We have an 8mm reduced chamber there and also your fill plug which is actually attached to your top cap so uh, this stops any movement of your top cap any movement of your wick and also you'll never lose that fill plug it's uh, always attached there which is actually great 
And to be honest, I would have thought that this might uh, stop it from wicking so well, because usually I like my fill plugs out of my Genesis Atomizer just to allow that air to go through. But actually, it doesn't cause any problems and wicks really well, so I'm quite impressed with that. And I also like the fact that you're never going to lose your fill plug, and also the fact that when it's in, it's sort of self-guiding. You're never moving that top cap, therefore never moving that coil or the wick itself. So, uh your coil's going to last a lot longer. So yeah, that's uh, really quite nice there. So uh, let's put a wick in this and uh, give it a bloody good vaping. So I've just put five wraps of 0.28 canthor on this. Lighting up nice and evenly. Just rushed it so they're not the neatest coils in the world, but just shows how evenly it can light up. And it's coming out about 0.9 ohms. I'd have preferred it a little bit higher, maybe to one ohm. But uh, there you go. So I'm just going to bung some juice in this now. I've got my uh, bean flick up from Vaping King, or I'd like to call that Jelly Bean instead because, you know, Billy's silly names for his juice. There we go. Put my top cap on and give her a vape. Lovely. Wicking almost instantly. It's lovely. So there you have the MCR303, and it's a really nice looking, stylish uh, Genesis style atomizer. It's almost kind of reminiscent to a Hellfire sort of look on it. It's very clean, it's very symmetrical, it's very nice looking. Um, it wicks really well, and that's surprising because it does have a fixed fill plug on it. Now, the majority of Genesis style atomizers, uh, especially those I've used in the sort of in the past, always kind of wick better when you don't have the fill plug in it, whether it's providing sort of extra vacuum or what. But uh, this seems it doesn't affect this in the slightest. It wicks very very fast and continues to wick even though that fill plug is still there. I also really like that because of the fact that you can't move that top cap once that fill plug is in, once the top cap is set down. So therefore you're not accidentally knocking your coil or moving that wick at all and therefore creating hot spots and absolutely fucking up your um, your build. Um, so that's really nice as well. Made of 316 grade stainless steel so it's kind of top of the food chain on that. Um, and it's, it's it's a very sleek looking design. I'd prefer it to be 22mm, obviously, but say you're using it on a DNA box mod or something like that with a bog rat adapter or something like that, it looks really stylish. Um, wicks very easy. It's a very classic sort of deck as well. You've just got your one positive post, your negative screw, 2.5mm wick hole in it, and Bob's your monk hole. You know, there's no dual coiling going on with this. Um, it's just a simple single wick setup, and uh, it, it's basically a flavour change. Chaser, completely a flavour chaser. You've got a one mil air hole in the top cap as well, and it really is full of flavour as well. But it is—it's quite small. You've got about 1.5 mil to two mil of juice in this. Just going to take another quick blast here now. Really rich in flavour. Um, I do actually love the flavour on this. You're not blowing clouds with this thing. Um, you basically are just getting the most out of your juice that you want. Really nice. Yeah, it's a, a, a lovely looking setup. Lovely reduced chamber there down to 8mm, so it's got that nice thick sort of throat hit as well. Flavour's great, looks the part. You've got those two tanks as well. You've got your steel SS tank, which I've got here, which I actually prefer the look of. It looks very clean. And you've also got that PMMA tank as well, in case you want to see your juice. Some of you guys like that out there. So yeah, now to get these, you can get them on the MCR website, I'll put the link in the description, and it's £130. Um, now that's the kind of the going rate for these sort of Genesis style atomizers that are well made, well machined, good grade of steel, uh, have that, a great deck on it, so that's £130, you're, you're in your SAT-22, you're in your, your rocket sort of uh, price range there, and um, I, I think it's a, a bang on atomizer to tell you the truth, if you're into your Jennies, there's going to be some of you that just go, oh Jenny! turn it off but I mean that's usually because you can't fucking wick them 
joking. Um, but no, it's a, an absolutely stunning sort of a little option for your Genesis style atomizers as well. It looks the part. I mean, if you do have a 20mm mod, say like a Defender from uh, Micro uh, Engineering or the MCR SL, etc., etc., this is going to be a bang on little setup. Or if you've got your DNA box mods and you've got some bog rat adapters, say from 23mm to 20mm, it's going to really look the part. It looks absolutely stunning. It's very clean, very good looking. Also with a drip tip included as well, so that's a nice touch. Yeah, overall, really happy with the uh, atomizer itself. Um, it's, it's a great addition to the Genesis style atomizers. So there you go, there's the MCR, which stands for Manchester, uh, 303, 316 grade stainless steel, 16mm deck, 1mm air hole, 8mm reduced chamber. It's attached fill plug on there as well. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, a nice addition to it. So uh, if you want one of these, check it out, go on the website. I've seen recently they did have some sort of seconds. I think there was a couple of them that was scratched or had a bit of a, um, a, a chip in it and they were doing them for like 70 quid, which ain't too bad, you know, if you just want to get one to try it out or you know don't want to pay the 130 quid but it is worth the 130 quid if you are a jenny head like me so there you go thank you very much for watching this review and i will see you on the next one stay safe